Some local high school students who won national academic honors got a big welcome home from their classmates today. Our Laura Diaz was there. It was a hero's welcome today at John Marshall High School in Los Feliz for that school's academic decathlon team. The team, which included six starting members and three alternates, went over the top by beating out schools from 38 states across the country. Here at Marshall High School, most of the students are minorities. Even though this inner city school competed against wealthier schools and private schools, they won national honors. That made victory especially sweet. You don't have to go to school in a rich, affluent district somewhere in this country. You can go to a school located in the heart of the city of Los Angeles, like John Marshall High, and still win. This morning, for more than an hour, students and teachers gathered for an assembly that looked more like a giant pep rally. On the football field were cheerleaders carrying banners, drill team members, and a host of distinguished guests, including Los Angeles school board members and Mayor Tom Bradley. Never before had a school in the L.A. Unified School District won an academic decathlon state championship, let alone a national championship. But today, team members who scored nearly 50,000 points out of 60,000 credited their success to great coaching and hard work. Primarily, our success can be attributed to the fact that we read in such detail that we could sort of figure out what the answer was just because we knew all the background behind it. Um, anyways, I I'm glad that uh, the, the competition is over, but, uh, and I'm glad that, the, uh, that we were able to be so successful. Um, actually, I think for the first time in my life, I'm pretty speechless. Thank you. But the biggest surprise in the battle of brains was the emergence of David Flory, a senior with a C average. He scored the highest of nearly 400 students competing. Yeah, I surprised myself. I didn't, you know, I, I knew that, you know, Mr. Han said I wasn't a genius, and I'm not a genius, but, you know, I was pretty smart, and I, I worked very hard, and I knew that other people that were just as smart or smarter could work just as hard and beat me, and I guess, I don't know, maybe I worked the hardest. As they stood side by side, it was an especially proud time for the decathlon team and their coach. Winners each and every one of them. In Las Feliz, Laura Diaz, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. First in the country, Linda Edwards reports from Marshall High School. Better than Beverly Hills, better than Palo Alto, better than the three-time winning team from Texas. Students from John Marshall High School have outsmarted the smartest, and the whole school is proud. An inner city school, a racially mixed student population, this champion team sort of came out of nowhere. Many credit their new coach who led and inspired them. I don't know where we'd be. Well, I do know actually where we'd be if we didn't have these coaches. My watch tells me that we'd all be in second period. <laughs> but like anything else, such victories don't come easy. Since October, team members had been hitting the books about 48 hours a week. The teacher who taught the champions, the number one academic coach, took his moment in the victory spotlight to make a plea. Find out our purpose for education. Why are we here? Fill it with the passion of young people to achieve the best that exists in all Americans. And above all, and above all, fund education. It's usually the achievement of the football team or the basketball team that gets all the attention. It's not often that academic achievement allows a school to say that it is number one. Well, today was the day for the Brainy Kids, the day that they were honored and praised. At John Marshall High School, Linda Edwards, Channel 9 News. And our hats off to them. Another point about that story, they said that several of the students had been born outside the country, mm -hmm. so it makes it even more mm -hmm. incredible. And the number one was a C student. Let's hear it for a C student. Right. Coming up next, the battering ram cannot be used. <laughs> The celebration at Marshall High School was in full swing before the academic decathlon team arrived. Cheerleaders, the band, the entire student body turned out to congratulate their classmates for the fine achievement. The Marshall team scored nearly 50,000 out of a possible 60,000 points at the Dallas competition, something the team members attribute to their coach, David Tukovsky. Last Wednesday, we flew to Texas to defeat the three-year championship team of Texas. 
just to give you a rough idea of how much time we actually did spend on this, we calculated that since, uh, I think it was, since October, we just have been spending an average of 48 hours a week here. Mayor Bradley joined city and school officials, including school superintendent Harry Handler, in congratulating the students. And he took the opportunity to show his support for higher salaries for teachers. More pay, better pay is the name of the game if we want to maintain our standards of education in this state and in this country. There were six team members and three alternates. The overall accomplishments of the team are quite outstanding. 17-year-old David Flory, a C student, was the top individual achiever in the country, answering correctly 89% of his questions. This is the first time that a school from the Los Angeles Unified School District has ever won the United States Academic Decathlon. But from the tremendous show of support and enthusiasm by the entire student body, it's probably just the beginning. In Los Angeles, Marta Waller, Channel 5, News at 10. What a superb achievement by the students of Marshall High.